Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we got a nine to five is hard, but so is being a streamer. Um, let's see what he has to say. I'm really interested inside his vid. This nigga just got another camera room vid. So Unless you're in. living under a rock, then I'm pretty sure we've all seen the Hassan situation by now if you're unfamiliar well basically the streamer hassan abi said that streaming was more draining than a nine to five yes oh, a real not. job can be gruesome a real job can make you very tired but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you you know what i mean in the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will a real job does not expend your social battery in the same way as someone who did a sales job, a real job, okay? I'm telling you, as someone who did, did both, like nine hours of, of constant performance and people pleasing taps you out from social scenarios. After nine hours of that, I could probably do physical labor. It would not bother me, but I can't do more social sh that's my point. And after that clip, basically the debate on if streaming is harder than a nine to five spread the internet like wildfire. Every news page was talking about it. People made videos about it. It was a hot topic for a few days. Yeah, I remember personally, when I, Jamari made a vid. I don't agree with this shit. That's some bullshit. I don't think huh? that streaming is harder than a nine to Bro, five because a nine to five is physically and mentally draining. While streaming is only mentally draining. What the fuck? I really disagree with Hassan when he says that a nine to five doesn't suck the soul out of you because they actually do. I'm pretty sure we've all worked a job before that sucked the absolute life out of us. Like it's pretty common, but I do feel like there is merit to what Hassan is saying. Like the way I see it is that like, just because a nine to five is hard, that doesn't mean that streaming is easy. I feel like a lot of people underestimate the amount of work that streamers actually have to do because of how lazy streaming looks. I mean, when you look at a streamer, like, I mean, they're sitting in a chair, playing a game or reacting to videos and people do that for free so when you see somebody doing it for numerous hours each day and they're making money from it it's like oh i could most likely do that i mean it seems pretty easy I, I do that for free so why not do it for some bread but if i'm being honest i personally don't think that streaming is easy at all like i saw a lot of people trying to write this off as like anyone could stream but not anyone could work a nine to five i don't know bro um i personally don't think streaming is hard i ain't gonna lie what he's saying is the bullshit because you could sit your ass right here nigga if you lit on streaming, walk out, I call Hassan, walk out this room, come right back, eat some chips, talk to my chat. Nigga, streaming easy as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. Just sitting on your ass playing the game and shit. Streaming easy, bro. I don't Which know what I completely disagree with. The way I see streaming is kind of like the way I see soccer. Anybody could play soccer, but not everyone can be good at soccer. That's a good Anyone good, can good stream, point. but not everyone can be a full time streamer. Like, I don't think people realize how hard it is to get to that point where you're a full time streamer on Twitch. It takes a lot of hard work and a lot of strategy because Twitch has one of the worst algorithms of all time because they don't push you in any way, shape, or form. You have to bring people to your stream. You can't just sit there playing a game all day and expect money and viewership like it just doesn't work like that it's shit. literally impossible to grow on twitch by only streaming all the top streamers have said it before because like the best strategy for growing on twitch is still growing on youtube tiktok or another platform my advice to anybody that wants to grow streaming don't stream a lot you can't just spark up on stream every day on twitch and get viewers that's just not how it is you know you gotta go on diff different platforms post your clips and then eventually you know if you do it right people will come yeah go on tiktok make more tiktoks do more youtube shorts try to grow outside of the platform because if it hasn't been obvious for the past six years now you're not growing on twitch anymore that's not how it works you have to find discoverability through other places it's weird when streamers think hey if i want to be a twitch streamer i gotta start on twitch i gotta fire up i gotta sign up make a twitch channel make a name for myself when it's literally the worst option to become a twitch streamer is to stream on twitch first mm -hmm you have to do something else where you have to become famous first. Like if you have zero viewers on Twitch, your stream is getting sent to nobody and the odds of people finding you are slim to none. That's why most of the top streamers had some sort of strategy. Like Kai for, okay, I can see. Okay, okay, never mind. Maybe this nigga might be cooking. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe this nigga might be cooking. Oh, uh, dang, this nigga is right. Cause if you look at people like Kai, that nigga had a fan base. The shade just started. He already had a fan base. It is hard to do streaming. You gotta do like clips and shit off your stream and then put it on. 
Okay, it's not like YouTube. YouTube, you get spread out in your know, suggestion tab. Okay, okay. I agree to with this nigga. To bring viewership to get to where they are now. For instance, Ludwig would do challenges on stream and upload those challenges to YouTube so that the people from his YouTube would tune into his streams. And Queso would take clips from his stream and upload those clips to TikTok so that the people from TikTok would come to his streams. Are you starting to see the pattern here? Like, these I'm streamers never just it. sat there all day and happened to become big streamers out of nowhere. They utilize different platforms to funnel an audience to twitch while also most likely working normal jobs and on top of that these streamers had to actually be entertaining once people started showing up to their streams because if someone sees a clip or a video of you and your stream looks fire like it just looks amazing it looks like the funniest thing on earth then that person shows up to your stream and it's just you sitting in a chair playing a game not really reading the chat or anything not really being interactive you're just kind of boring that person is most likely never going to come back so that first impression means everything that's why streamers like jinxie are so popular now because his clips are just as funny as his streams now i will say that streaming Type does shit. get easier after you build up an audience because you now know that people are actually going to pop out to your streams no matter what but that still doesn't mean that streaming is easy like if i'm being real not just anyone can entertain numerous people all at once in the same way that not just anyone can be a construction worker or an electrician another yeah, thing that this people ain't wrong real. this nigga cooking this nigga cooking let him cook now nigga cook Dang, I ain't, I ain't never thought about it like this. He right? I thought if I just stream every day, niggas is going to watch. But I don't know. People like speed and shit. He had YouTube. You know, he didn't have a large fan base. The niggas from his stream put the clips on TikTok. So, it's kind of vice versa, twin. I think, like, if you put consistency, I think if you do YouTube streaming, I think you could blow up on any platform. That's my personal opinion, twin don't really realize about streaming is that you're talking for numerous people while you're live because you're talking for yourself and you're also talking for the chat because in a normal conversation with another person you talk for yourself you say something then the other person says something there's a breathing room in between that but with streaming you're talking in both of those spots yourself and the other person and after hours of doing that you can get drained now is all that harder than a nine to five no not at all Hell the positives no. most definitely outweigh the negatives when it comes to streaming I I mean, you're in the comfort of your own home sure. there's not many physical demands and you make your own hours like it's definitely a blessing but all that being said my overall point is that even though streaming may be easier than a nine to five that doesn't make streaming easy in general like not just anyone can be a streamer okay so many queer people are making these Man, we don't want to see i don't want to see this shit i'm sorry i support the community but i don't care about this documentary to really understand both sides, you would have to have a 9 to 5 at one point, Type but you shit. would also have to have some sort of success with streaming. Because streaming to an entire audience and like doing it full time is completely different than streaming to like one or two viewers. And even myself, I've never been a full time streamer at any point in my life, but I've tried to become a full time streamer and I completely failed. So I know the struggles <laughs> of streaming. So yeah, I don't think that streaming is harder than a 9 to 5, but I don't think that streaming is easy. Like I still think streaming is super hard to get to that position that streamers like Hassan or Kai Sanat or maybe even Jinxie are in right now. People don't want to hear someone complain when they're in a worse position than the person complaining. But the reality is that everyone on this earth complains no matter how good their life is. Our brain is a problem solving machine. So when there's no problems going on in your brain, your brain is going to make problems for you to complain about. I mean, we do it all the time. I'm American and a lot of you guys watching are probably from first world countries. Now, let me ask you this. How do you think other countries feel when they hear Americans complain about their Wi-Fi going out for 24 hours? or their Amazon packages not coming in on time. All They're probably right, fed up because what some the countries fuck he's don't saying even have right here. That shit didn't make no damn sense. What the fuck? Wi-Fi or Amazon, they legit only got sticks and stones. So you can only imagine how they might think how annoying it is when okay. we complain because they have way less than us. But regardless, we still find a way to complain no matter how great our lives are Type compared shit. to others. People Could, are always nigga. gonna find a way to complain. Like, that's just the sad reality. Mr. Beast literally built wells in Africa, and people somehow started complaining about that. Yeah, your job may be harder than the streamer sitting in their chair for nine hours, but that doesn't mean that they can't complain about it. Like, maybe it should be off stream or offline when they complain. I feel like that'd be a little bit more sincere, but at the same time, like, everyone on this earth complains, regardless of how great their lives are. How do you get along with your coworkers? By complaining about the job, because at the end of the day, complaining is fun, and we can't sit here and act like 
like complaining isn't but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below okay. all that being said this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made this far i appreciate you if you guys enjoyed this video then i, I fuck with this vid but to say something about this video um complaining has its pros and its cons complaining can teach you what you're good at and it can teach you why you complaining get your ass up go check that vid out on my channel nigga but on my honest opinion on this topic a nine to five is harder than streaming completely i feel like if you put the work in you could if you really put the work in and be creative with your streams you gonna always love doing it twin but anyways y'all y'all like comment and subscribe i'm gonna see y'all later uh, i gotta go do some school work and yeah i hope you y'all tapped into this reaction